Apple stock dips after weak outlook for December quarter revenue. Apple reported fiscal fourth quarter earnings on Thursday that beat analyst expectations for sales and earnings per share, but revealed that overall sales fell for the fourth quarter in a row. Every hardware business outside of the iPhone declined year over year, with big drops in the iPad and Mac segments. Apple shares fell over 3% in extended trading after executives signaled the company may not return to growth in the holiday quarter. Here's how Apple did, versus LSEG, formerly Refinitiv, consensus expectations. EPS. $1.46 per share versus $1.39 per share expected. Revenue. $89.5 billion versus $89.28 billion expected. iPhone revenue. $43.81 billion versus $43.81 billion expected. Mac revenue. $7.61 billion versus $8.63 billion expected. iPad revenue. $6.44 billion versus $6.07 billion expected. Wearables revenue. $9.32 billion versus $9.43 billion expected. Services revenue. $22.31 billion versus $21.35 billion expected. Gross margin. 45.2% versus 44.5% expected. Apple didn't give formal guidance, but finance chief Luca Maestri said the company expected December quarter revenue to be similar to last year's revenue. However, Apple said that the December quarter this year will have one fewer week. Analysts were looking for $122.98 billion in revenue for the December quarter, which would be a return to year-over-year -year growth of about 5% in Apple's most important quarter. Net income was $22.96 billion, or $1.46 per share, versus $20.72 billion, or $1.29 per share, during the year earlier period. The tech giant reported $383.29 billion in sales for the full fiscal year, down about 3% from the prior year. Quarterly revenue declined less than 1% in the September quarter. The company's iPhone sales were in line with Wall Street expectations and increased more than 2% from last year. It was the only hardware line for Apple to show growth in the quarter, and the period only included about a week of iPhone 15 sales. Apple CEO Tim Cook told CNBC that the iPhone 15 was doing better than the iPhone 14 did during the September quarter last year. If you look at iPhone 15 for that period of time and compare it to iPhone 14 for the same time in the year ago quarter, iPhone 15 did better than iPhone 14, Cook told CNBC's Steve Kovac. He added that Apple's more expensive Pro and Pro Max iPhones suffered supply constraints because of high demand. Apple's Mac and iPad businesses both declined during the quarter. Maestri had warned on a call with analysts after third quarter results that iPad and Mac sales would fall by double-digit percentages. Mac sales came in below Wall Street expectations, falling nearly 34% year over year. Apple held an unusual nighttime launch event for its new MacBook Pro laptops and iMac desktop last month. While sales of the new devices aren't included in the quarter, Apple was signaling that new products could boost sales once again thanks to its new M3 chips. Cook told CNBC that the Mac comparison is to an all-time record, fourth quarter, which followed a huge supply disruption and pushed what would have been third quarter sales into the last quarter of 2022. So, the comparison point here is very difficult, he said. I think the Mac is going to have a significantly better quarter in the December quarter. We've got the M3, we've got the new products, and we don't have the compare phenomenon on a year-over-year -year basis, Cook said, referring to an unusually strong market for Macs in 2022. Cook added the overall market for personal computers is challenging.